Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ranger 363V Restoration. And first off, guys, I want to thank you so much for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. And as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to be giving you away one free Beely Marine logo t-shirt. And all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment down below if you think it's worth putting a new motor on this boat. Just yes or no, or what brand, it doesn't matter. Just comment down below. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the wiring and getting all the wiring out and then me kind of walking you through what I see and if maybe this video can help you if you're having wiring issues. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I got all the wiring harness out of the boat and I got it kind of bundled up and coiled up into sections and I'm just going to walk through it and show you what I did and maybe help you kind of troubleshoot some issues you might be having with your wiring. So here's the bow of the boat. That's his bow, not owl. And you know, I marked this a long time ago, nav light. All coiled up here, all these wires used to run to the panel that's right there. Okay, so we're gonna go back, choo, 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 and they run into this plug. Now this plug is the plug that r runs all of these switches. These are the switches that were in the dash, okay? So we have clear plug to clear plug. Now we're gonna kind of go back to the back of the boat because you're going, well, how's their power? Well, we got these two red leads that run into this plug, right? And somewhere in here is the connectors. Here they are. That connected to the battery. I know those don't look like battery connectors, but in the back of the boat was a, like, breaker. And these plugged into that breaker. Okay. So here's the, the uh, aft of the boat, the back of the boat. Uh, you know, obviously like bilge pump, aerators, power, pretty simple stuff, okay? And then like rear nav light. So that all runs to here, which powers this harness, which is all your switches. And then from that is this connector that connects to our fuse block, which if you have a short or something, we'll pop those fuses, all right? And then hanging off here to the side, like I said, this is kind of a mess, but this is fuel. All right, we got, I guess this is hot for like the pump, turning the pump on and off. And then the black is ground. Um, and let me show you something real quick about this. So we're just gonna go back here real quick. So I've never done this guy. So this is that black cable. There's two of them, one here, and you, I don't know if you can see it run right there. And it runs up in, and it connects to here. And I cannot get my hand in there to remove that cable. So it's just grounded to this. So I just said, you know what, screw it. Leave a nice long lead. And we can just, uh, you know, connect this in when we can redo the wiring harness. And I spent quite a bit of time trying to do that. All right, so we'll go back there and finish, talk about what's left in the console. So let's say you're having an issue, you know, 
you just take this fuse panel off on your boat look inside what color responds to what so you know brown is pump which is our bilge pump so let's say you're not sure like these fuses are not the correct like it says right here it says right here brown is the pump and it needs to be a three or ten amp well that should be right there it's a five amp and you go well that's the wrong the wrong number it's the wrong one well it's not so i just looked back here and there's the brown wire all right then the brown wire runs to here this connector and then we're just going to kind of trace this back we got brown wire so let's find the bilge pump connector all right don't it's probably gonna be the farthest one horn all right here it is bilge look brown wires all right then we're gonna follow it all the way back to this plug here we go we got brown wires well there's brown and ye well there's brown and yellow and there's brown so brown runs all the way and here you go we got the bilge wire so it's it is really overwhelming um i feel i might have bitten off a little bit more than i could chew but this is a big part of a boat that if you want it to be reliable uh it's a good place to start make sure you're doing this this is all done right because i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna show you why i'm a little hesitant about leaving all this in there because let's go back here now the motor on this boat is not original that's over there is not the motor that came with this boat okay so you know here's all so we got some some wires and power and all sorts of things coming into here right then we just got this like mess of stuff that i i don't know what this does any of this i don't i don't know which runs to this giant wad of cables okay and then we have these connectors and you're, you know what what do these do this connector right here was not connected to the other version the male or the female whatever one it is it's not plugged into it so that makes me very suspect of i'm not saying that ranger did it wrong i'm just saying over time people messing around with this things could have gotten messed up so we're going to focus on getting this working and then we will focus on all that okay but that's it for this week guys oh real quick i think this thing is like super cool i don't know if i'll put this back or just like hang it up in the shop i don't know why i think this is so cool but it just looks like steampunky you know i wonder if, i don't know if horns look like this now but anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next week